guys, good afternoon. So today's um, recipe will be tok neneng or um, kwek kwek. This is one of the traditional street food in the Philippines. And since today is either lockdown or an enhanced quarantine, it's impossible for you to find this on the streets. So I decided to do it myself since I'm craving for it as well. Let me uh, introduce you guys first all the ingredients. We have here all-purpose flour. We have cornstarch. We have quail eggs, of course, and we have salt, pepper, and garlic powder. We have here, by the way, this is the cheese, um, diluted cheese in liquid because I don't have food coloring and I don't prefer that, to be honest. And you can use anato powder if you have one. I'm going to use what I have here and I got cheese powder, so I just you know, diluted it in water, enough to color it. But it's fine if you don't want to color it. And we have um, onion, spring onions as well for me to use. So let's go ahead and start. By the way, we're going to be using baking powder as well for the process. And for the sauce, we're going to be using soy sauce, um, onions, garlic, brown sugar, and of course, lurry, which is, you know, a combination of um, starch and water. We're going to be using garlic powder, pepper, and salt as well for that, and some seasoning. But let's start first with the batter of our quail eggs. So, uh, first that we have to do is we need to put some flour in bowl, just a bit. We just need to make sure that our quail eggs are covered well with flour first. You can put just a bit. Before putting it in the butter later on. So let's just prepare some quail eggs here That would be on the butter. Okay, that's enough. Now. Let's start with this So um, I'm gonna be making uh, Vegetable balls as well. So let me just do the butter for both of them But you guys will see that in a separate video. So I have here. I'm gonna be using one and a half cup of flour or flour flour you have for me I'm using the baked king flour like baked and king that's totally two different word and then we're gonna be using half of cornstarch as well We're going to be using one teaspoon of baking powder. And we're going to be putting some salt. You can use one teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of pepper. And then one teaspoon of garlic powder. I'm going to be putting the diluted cheese color that will serve as food coloring next is I'm gonna be putting one cup of water for the meantime but you can control it if you guys are not sure then just don't put everything yet because there's a specific texture of this one that we have to sustain so from there and you can just keep on adding the water Add water as desired. It depends on the measurement. So, on whisking it, I'm gonna be adding additional half cup. But as I've mentioned, don't put it immediately. Gradually, so you can control the texture. And we're gonna be having half a teaspoon of fish sauce that's optional if you guys prefer salt that's fine and then we're gonna be adding spring onions this is optional as well so you guys can whisk it again so guys this is the texture that I'm looking for 
So basically, I just used like one cup and one eighth of water for the measurement. You can always adjust if in case you accidentally put too much of a water, you can just add flour in it. Okay, so this should be okay already. Now the rolled eggs that you have in flour, you can put them one by one already. Add some more doing this is for the butter to completely stick with the eggs all right and while I'm doing this I'm already heating um, oil in the pan so we can directly go that so there you can roll it this way okay now let's start frying all right guys so what one thing that you want to do is if the um, pan is already hot. You might want to use two spoon and dilute it with oil so it won't stick. And then we're gonna be using this. Okay, hold on. You guys could use this stick. So make sure the pot is already hot like that. You guys could use more oil so it can be deep fried. Ideally, it should be deep fried. So, if it's not deep fried, then just flip it as soon as you put it. because I'm not using much of an oil but if you want a perfect circle like the one that you guys see just make sure it's deep fried this does not need much of a cooking basically you're just cooking the flour itself Flip it over immediately as soon as you put it down so you can maintain the circle. Alright guys, so this would be okay already. And the strainer. If you want to cook it more like you know brownish then that's fine but for me this is already okay just make sure that you don't have too much of fire so it won't get burned it can control it all right guys so we're all set and all done this is now our homemade quick quick word of manning together with the sauce that we have created and i thought you guys how to do it as well it smells so good and i cannot help myself anymore to taste it so thank you so much actually let me give it a try hold on so i'm just gonna dip it that way you see the sauce is still smoking hot so i need to blow this Mm. I, I just bought this from <laughs> Kuya Stock Nening. I think it's very delicious. Thank you so much, guys. Please subscribe and click the notification below. So, guys, you would be notified with my succeeding videos. Thank you.